Hello and welcome back to uh, this series where I make a game because I dropped out of school and quit my job. <laughs> like a cool kid. If you haven't seen the first video, don't worry, it's cool. All you need to know is that, that we have a kind of functioning game like this. This is it right here. This is what the game looks like right now. But we need a character and so that's that's this time. That's this time. This time on 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 idiot child makes a game. Bam! Look at that. Damn. What happened to his face? Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Um, yes. I mean, it's. Uh, hello. hello. Ooh. That's the only thing keeping me going. Yeah. It's got holes in it. Let's go. Honestly, I could just rage quit right now. Crispy holes. Crispy holes, baby. Crispy. But. Happy Dino. Yeah, Happy Dino is keeping me going. It was time to design a new character because the last one... Yeah. But this one, this one was going to be good. So I went ahead and grabbed my notebook and I tried again. Just, I just tried again. I just gave it another crack. Take two. We're going to design a better character. It's going to be better. And uh, why it's going to be better is because it's going to be... BAM! It's going to be a rover. It's going to be a little uh, Wally fool. Yeah, pretty much the question is how do I uh, copy Wally without g committing some kind of copyright infringement? So let's do that now. I'm just going to do a bunch of different designs and we'll see what works. just looks like he's part snare drum. I like this guy. I like his I like his attitude. I like his vibe. Let's see what we can do with that. I like this. Uh, uh, uh. I like this stuff. Let's do a uh, proper final drawing. I'll admit, but that's okay. We'll fix it up. We'll fix it up on the computer. Look at him. He's just, he's so nice. I want to hug, he'll probably be cold if I were to hug him. I'm going to call him Spirit. Because he's got spirit. Look at him. Look at his little face. And his, his little hand. And he's on his, he's on his wheels rolling around. Yeah, 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 spirit, yeah, let's, uh, go, let's, uh, we, there we go, I was actually pretty proud of, um, of the character design, I thought it was great, but this time, I was not going to repeat my mistakes, because this time, I was going to 3D model it, so I'm just gonna talk while the time lapse plays of me making it, because there's not really, well, I'm, like, what, what do I do, what do I, <laughs> what do I do? So you might be wondering, Milo, you just know how to, you can just program, you can just 3D, you just know how to do this. Um, yeah, I uh, kind of, a lot of the kids were out partying and uh, injecting marijuana pills. I was at home programming. <laughs> I started really getting into game design about the start of high school. Any, like, anyone can learn how to make a game. It's pretty easy. You just watch Brackies. Just watch, just consume all of the Brackies content. You will be a god game developer. That's all, that's the secret. Yeah, two years ago, I did a, uh, I did a game design course uh, because, you know, I'd, I'd been doing it as a hobby for a while and I wanted to see what, uh, what I could learn in a game design course. And it turns out absolutely nothing. <laughs> It was it was fine, but th there was just they didn't really they didn't really teach so much as they just like 
told us to watch tutorials and then do the tutorials. So that was, but uh, the place I did it at was actually uh, nearby to a KFC. Because I was like kind of a bit ahead on stuff and I was pretty, I kind of came pretty naturally to me. Um, I would help people out a lot, so, you know, I got shouted a lot of KFC, so. I'm, hey, I'm not complaining. I'm not, I'm not complaining. To be fair, when you're doing a course, you kind of have to learn how to do things. Whereas if you're doing things home as a hobby, it's more, you kind of need to self-motivate. So um, in, the, in, in the class, I actually found I was actually more productive. And so that kind of was a lot of good practice for me, a lot of good um, practice time spent. So that's where I learned to do a lot of um, my 3D modeling and stuff. I'm by no means like a good like 3D artist. I'm very, very mediocre. I just have pretty rudimentary skills, but it was enough to, it was enough for me to be able to make this. Did the time lapse end? Now, when you have a 3D model, uh, you have textures on it. How do the textures get on there? How do you, how do you Christmas wrap that bitch? Well, let me tell you, it's a thing called UV unwrapping, where you take the mesh of a 3D model Cheers, and then kind the of smoosh it down into a flat plane, and then you can use an image on that plane, and then the and then the texture will go on the 3D model. I was going to explain the process of uh, UV unwrapping an object to Tim, who you saw last time. What I tried to call him. Let's call Tim. Uh? Come on, come on, pick up. No. No. So I just sort of went on and, um, you know, did it, um, but I didn't realize that when OBS is record, where you have OBS on, Discord goes into streaming mode, you can't hear notifications, and so sort of, I, I couldn't hear the notifications for him messaging me, telling me that he was just on the toilet, that's why he couldn't pick up, so... Eventually though, I did manage to uh, realize that Tim was trying to call me and so then it was time to hang out with Tim and I, I wanted to sort of discuss some worries that I was having as well as add a little summon summon to a spirit that um, made me spice, spice his character design up a bit. I called you because I was going to teach you how to UV unwrap a 3D <laughs> object but uh, kind of did that. I was going to teach you about like where you should... That's 106 <laughs> That's 106? Sorry. You're fucking kidding me, Nicola. My goodness. Um, yeah, I was going to teach you about, <laughs> yeah. like... He's really loud, eh? Um, yeah, a bit. <laughs> I was going to teach you about um, where you should place your seams so that you can mm -hmm. go from this to a nice, a little UV unwrapped tree oh. right here. I still got to align everything on the thing. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, just Nicola stopped being so excited for a moment. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see me labeling shit. That's not oh, yeah. me. That's important. Cool. Yeah, no, it's very legible. <laughs> and here we have... Mm, <laughs> we have... Fought, no, but... Block. Only a doctor would know. Block. <laughs> <laughs> I decided it was <laughs> I'm surprised that my handwriting with the mouse is even that good. What? So... Yeah, honestly. But, like, um, your handwriting with the mouse is, like, better than my handwriting. <laughs> I've been humming and harring about how exactly to put him in the game. Discuss some worries that I was having. I could put it in Unity as a 3D model, um, and that way I could do more realistic lighting and a bit more dynamic. However, if I do that, then uh, you need to render a 3D model on a mobile device, especially if I have cloth physics involved. Add a little summon summon to a spirit. Oh, uh, yeah. It'd be really good for a character. Uh, design, but I don't want to have to do actual cloth physics on uh, on, a, on a mobile device because that'll just crash. Yeah, um, yeah. I could bake the cloth sim as in record what happened and then play it back as keyframes. But uh, yeah, yeah. even that I think would just be kind of because that'd be a lot of memory to have to load. So, uh, thing two, render this in Blender and then export it out as a 2D sprite and then... Oh, yeah. That way I can have like super fucking crazy cloth sim. I can have this full explode. I can just, I can do whatever I want. I can have, you know, yeah, yeah. and uh, that's with the trade off of uh, having less lighting. But I think I can come up with some workarounds for that. Let me put him in some actual nice, uh... there we go. Look at him. 
Adorable. Oh. Nice little blue boy. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Bam! Oh! A colored lighting. Let's go. With a, with a tune shader. But I don't know if this is how I want him to look in the game. If I have to render sprites, I need to work out how I want the lighting in here. Solidify. What? Thickness. Ooh, expand. Look at that. Wow. We got no, outlines, I was gonna baby. Out. Chunky it's just, it's outlines. Chunky outlines. Oh, yeah. Colored boy. I did, like, animate him a little bit, but not too much. Oh, are his wheels still fucked up? Looks like it. Yeah, really. Those knees gonna bend if you do it too low and he drops a little bit. Uh, hopefully. See, that's the other thing too. If I do put the 3D model yeah. on, then I can have more dynamic responses, but... There's a lot to add in. <sighs> but, uh, I can... I did all my rigging, so I can do... I can go in a post oh, yeah. and then grab the... I can grab them and then use inverse kinematics and the knees are just like, yes, I understand what to do. Oh. And I can even grab him by, grab him by here. Oh, oh, oh. Same thing with the arms too. I can grab these and just. Oh, he can, he can be grabbing. I, he can be grabbing. I tried to hide as many bones as possible so as least as Not confusing, yeah. You have, the, you have the mega bone in the middle. Although now that I think about it, Whoops, that's a bit of an oversight. Uh, 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 is that his neck? <laughs> that's his neck, spine. That's an issue. Uh, it's fine. It's okay. Don't worry. I just need to go into here, get the vertex Wait, groups, take and the back waste, into mode, and then go into the and then object mode, and then uh, and then I gotta grab the thing. Which I can't do for some reason. It, it really looks quite painful for him, honestly. Uh, we're we'll going to gamer mode. Gamer mode is um, WASD uh, controls. So it's just like gamers intu intuitively can just use it. Can I just grab your spine, please? Is that too much to ask? I'm just a man who wants to grab a spine. And then... Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's right. No, this is correct. This is actually what I want. Really? Yeah, and then we want to go to waste, bam, Ooh. and we're only clipping down there, which is good enough for me. Oh, he's hitting the nana. Okay, yeah, he's rolling good, and his spine is in place. Okay, yeah, okay, we're good. Are so let's. Um, I'm not Nicola. Okay, this is serious business. So, to do cloth sim, we need a cloth, and we need a sim. So, quick question: Is it a cape or a poncho? It's. A, it's kind of both. It's like a hybrid. It's like not even on either side, but it's not really small enough in the front to, to yeah. be cape, you know? So it's like a, it's yeah. like a weird caponcho, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I could sell that. I could sell caponcho? Get a caponcho today. That sounds like you'd fight with it. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and we're gonna add a plane. Size it up, rotate it. Then we're gonna subdivide it by going by uh, Oh my god, sorry. Not searching for it because we know where it is. Here's a fun thing you can do. So you can take a vertice like this and like wham it around, but that's not very useful. But then you can hit O and then, oh, wh what's happening? Oh! Oh, that whoa. is, holy, that's useful. Yeah. So we're gonna hey. tuck that in there. We're gonna bring this forward so it's around his little neck. Okay, I think that's a pretty all right shape, maybe. Yes, we can have a look, see, see if it... Yeah, my undo buffer length is set to the maximum size and that's for a good reason. We're gonna turn on physics and then we're gonna hit play. Oh, what's this? Oh, needs to be bigger is what I'm seeing. Um, Oops. I mean, it's... Uh, it yeah. do be a crop top, Yeah, though. so then we don't know. <laughs> Let this r render for a bit. How's the... That went diagonal that time. That's a that's a cool look on him. Yeah, yeah, no. What does that remind me of? Yeah, yeah, I found it, I found it. <laughs> I looked up, look up Star Wars droid with sphere zappy. And it's oh. the first image. <laughs> it makes uh, Star Wars one word. Oh, uh, Star Wars. That uh, one. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I love how that works. IG IG100. When you train up your Instagram skill. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I just made this full. <laughs> With wheels. With wheels. 
and a weak floaty <laughs> eye grab the bone. What, a, what an odd phrase. <laughs> grab the bone. Grab Pose the mode. Bone. Do this. Pose mode. <laughs> Pose mode. <laughs> no, Tim, no. When he gets angry, it'll go like. Ah. See how, he, see how he looks angrier now? Neutral. Is he just. Do you want to be vibing on the menu screen? Probably, yeah. Let's get back to this no. uh, poncho business. Yeah. Do I need to do it like like this? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe? Maybe. Maybe you need to change the shape. I'm doing a bit of drawing right here so I can like see what kind of shape it is. Bam. Whoa, it's Dylan. It's In the flesh. In the flesh. Well. Let's yes. do some crafts. Okay, we were having this piece of paper. <laughs> I'm usually writing like no. Oh, it would have been folded back here. Like you can see me doing maths and shit on it. So we have an old guy I drew. Oh, yeah. Kind of looks like Professor Oak, to be honest. Oh, that's 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 whack. What the? Huh? I don't know why. Why is my screen flashing like it's the apocalypse and there's a nukes, <laughs> the nukes are coming? No it's triangles. A guy. More triangles. Bam. Have paper. And if only I had some kind of. Oh, look at this! It's perfect. Okay. Cut. Nice. Bigger. Bam. <laughs> Why did I do this again? Um. Like, have you eaten it all? Or you said. Do I need a. I don't know. Um, this is a really dumb idea. Uh, I guess we'll just start cutting. I don't know, it feels like it's not bending. Do I need to like scrunch it up or something? I don't know if that would help. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, next week, <laughs> <laughs> that's really <laughs> That's perfect. I think I can just do this in my mind, in my, in my brain. But I want it to be like across at the front, V at the back. Oh! Kind of like, vroom. Here to here, it needs to be like equidistant, you know what I'm saying? So I think it needs to go like this. So we end up with weird blob. Um, ah, yes, a classic. But you see, we have the main shapes of the V here, the here, this is kind of maintaining, we'll you, maintaining distance. Yeah, so let's make, let's do that shape. Don't know what's what? happening. What uh, do do? Uh, <laughs> around with this for a little bit. Let's get jiggy with it. Yeah. That's precisely what we are doing. Um, that's a little too jiggy, actually. My brain just, for some reason, thought of, remembered Nick Jonas in Wizard 101. Don't know what. <laughs> okay. That looks a lot nicer. Does turning the bending up or down make it more bendy? I, I can't remember. <laughs> it's a point one. What's point one do? Still kind of weird. What if we set the bending up to ten? How do you feel about that? That's oh my god. I feel uh, not great about that, I see. <laughs> Why is that like kind of cool, but also like, bruh? This, you know what this is? This is the scrunched up paper wow. I put on my mannequin. Then we're going to take this, duplicate, bam, apply the subsurf. How many geometries do we need? That's not enough. More. Give me more geometries. Bye. See ya. Farewell. He's got undressed. He wants us, damn. So I think it's pretty good. This, this, this is looking much nicer now. And honestly, if it's moving forward as well, like the folds will move all move backwards yeah um we can take this forward and actually make it more oh of a God. v than a slit um yeah might try that bam okay see i think you should do that in the center uh, oh perfect <laughs> uh, okay oh wow oh, oh. <laughs> all right now we have melting pac-man let's see how he goes <laughs> Or a dinosaur. Josh. Or a dinosaur. I'm gonna bring this, this one Josh, vertex. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Move these out of here. Get out of here. Uh. <laughs> hey, that's. Hey, good. there we go. That's looking good now. That's looking perfect. Dare I say? 
Magnus. Let's get some colors. Yeah, let's get some. Actually, I was planning on having it white because the colors are going to change in game. So yeah, I want it to be white. But let's get some texture. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. S let's just see what unwrap does. Oh, that works. It really looks like a dinosaur. That's hilarious. <laughs> Happy dinosaur! Yeah. Um, Why does it sound like it's someone's birthday? But it's just Happy dinosaur. <laughs> hey, have a happy dinosaur. <laughs> I just, the way I said that, just looking at him. <laughs> he's so happy. Oh, Not he's so happy. I'm so, um, I just feel great for him, honestly. Pack items. That's really the best way it thinks it can do it. What if you just like, do that, and then you can make it bigger? Did I just outsmart a computer program? What? Happy Dinosaur is comfortably in the box. Okay, we'll call it Low Poly Caponcho 2. Actually, a yeah, Happy Dinosaur is much better than Low Poly Caponcho. Oh no, actually, Happy Dinosaur to you. There we go. <laughs> Open this full up in. Photoshop! For shush. Now we're gonna take this and we're going to... It's really um, trash on the inside, but... Uh... Is this trash? I like you. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck, Tim. <laughs> wow, why'd you have to say that, Tim? That's so mean. Mommy too, bro! <laughs> <laughs> That's a great response. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit. We're gonna make a couple layers. Uh. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. And then we're just gonna around the edge, just kind of <laughs> chew it up a bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it'll do. Now it just looks like the happy dinosaur has been abused. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> happy dinosaur has been through some rough times, but he's keeping his positive attitude. All right, we're gonna add. We're going to do some shadering here. Why uh, is the neck uh, hole so big? Uh, it's not. It's the shadow. Um, uh, we're going to go send that to base color. Hello. Hello. Ooh. Bam. Look at that. You got Ooh, holes it's in it. Got it's, got, holes. it's got holes in it. Yeah. It's got holes in it. Let's go. Didn't have to look anything up. I should really send the alpha through a... Ooh. Ooh. That's an idea. This might be good. It might be bad. I think it's going to be excellent. My professional opinion. There we go. And now we get, now we get crispy, crispy holes. Crispy holes, baby. Crispy. Nice. That was a good move. That 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 was a good move. Wait, it's so crispy. Yeah, I, I really like it. It's, it's... I just want to look at it. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. It's frozen. I can't click anything. I can't change the tabs here. No. Take a photo of what you've done right now. No, I don't worry. I saved it like immediately before I did that because I'm okay. <laughs> Sixteen steps ahead. What? Yeah, <laughs> sixteen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> True to the power of four, motherfucker. I'm um, so confused. <laughs> did you not learn? Okay. All right. So time to do some animating. Animating. So we're gonna. Woo. I'll say you in chat. Thanks for the hundred bits. <laughs> <laughs> and then from on oh, frame ninety. <laughs> we well, there's um, it's uh, there's some problems. Um, oh. That's not what, what we want to hear. I'll show you. But I was like, oh, you know, all, all fine awesome. and good. Oh, he goes, he just pulls his hair. <laughs> we, um, Harry has a camera, but he died. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty broken. Yeah. Ron said join, uh, the gaming channel. Okay. Yo! Oh, I just said. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what, what happened to his face? Um. It's fine. That's twice now. It's Why fine. Is his face it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look, it's fine. It's absolutely okay. This is working as it's uh, <laughs> I love uh, when Outlook is frozen. I don't. That sounds like it would suck. Why would you like that? That's weird. Give me my flat lad back. The hook's empty though. No, okay, no, no, Tim. I'm connecting it to a thing called an empty. 
Oh. Yeah. What rookie, the what? rookie mistake. Come on. My bad. That's definitely my r rookie because mistake because you're not a rookie and it's working, man. That's right. That's exact. You are. Wow. You're, it's astounding how correct yeah. you are. Yeah, I know, right? Depth I am. Stop being correct, dude. So then I do this, oh, and I do oh, this, oh, and then like, oh. would it work though? Could you work, please? Wait, Could it work it though? Would that be crazy? Mmm. 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 Doesn't that annoy you how the cape goes like inside his body when he jumps? It's not supposed to. That That's what he's trying to fix. Wow, actually, Ron, now that you said that, that, that does really annoy me. Let me try to fix that. Wait, you don't have but it's, in here. wait, it's you're what? wait, what? It's working. Inside, wait, but it's working. It's actually working. That's the only thing keeping <laughs> me going. Yeah. Honestly, I could just rage quit right now. <sighs> but Stop happy Dino. Yeah, happy Dino is keeping me going. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Work? Uh, so wait. Recorded that. Wait. Hell oh, yeah. That just. What, what did you change? Um. I will be back. You know, I just. Uh, it's just, just my sheer genius. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. I got it working. I did it. Okay. Turn on the model and let's see it again. Why is the neck hole so big? Oh no! Sorry, that's just the shadow. My bad. Classic too. Fucking eyes. That's something up. That's functional, baby. That's functional. Put my three put my 3D cursor right there. That's exactly where I want it. Maybe over here. Ready? Shift A. Add. I could add a mesh. I could add a curve. I could add a I could add a I could oh. add a force field. Wind. What? Yeah. Yeah. Rotate this. Oh, so if you just have wind oh, constantly yeah. blowing down mm -hmm. to get it off his face? Mm -hmm. Down and across, baby. Oh, wait, what the hell? Holy. That looks pretty epic. It's gonna look. Wind. Strength versus flow. Blender, probably. <laughs> we'll put the strength, not 2000, though I am gonna see what that does. <laughs> okay, oh, bye. Oh. Bye. Oh. See ya. Long gone. That that pin is really just the only thing between that that caponcho and the void. <laughs> there you go. Just All right, cool. That's enough work for one day, I think. Um, That's what we. OBS could has been recording for four hours. It's gonna love coming through oh. that. I did not love going through that. I then tidied up some of the UVs and made a texture to put on Spirit. And then, of course, showed it off to Tim. Hello? Um, can I just measure the amount of force it takes to open my door? Uh, yeah. So, I did some work. Um, as you can see here, I have made a, a texture for the UV map. And so when I plug that in, bam, you see that? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Look at this dynamic material. And gone and, yeah. for black caponcho. Yeah, it's actually like a dark purple. I don't know, like the white wasn't really working, but like yeah, yeah. also I do need to consider, like it's gotta be able to match the environment. Uh, so not too sure exactly what color I wanna do here. That's here. So yeah, I can do like, see white just looks kind of garish. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. Do cool. like a light blue or something. The kind of dark purple I think was looking all right. Kind of looks like a ghost Pokemon, but that's fine. <laughs> Is he gonna change color or stay the set that's color? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the other thing too, I don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, Probably. I think I know how I'm gonna do the, um, the, the 2D versus 3D dilemma. Here's what I'm going to do is render out the legs separately and then oh. so I have the thigh, I have the calf and then I have the wheel and that's those are three different pieces and those will just, they'll be like suspension and then yeah. I'll just attach the top half to him and that will have my actual animations on where he kind of is like looking around and um that is a good way of doing it yeah because the animations will take up a lot less brain power of the computer yeah oh, yeah uh, i played both portal games 
Um, Dude, I did that on a holiday. That was they, yeah, they're good. They're great. I, I, I want to do some multiplayer, baby. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm still not sure on this. Uh, what if we just make it black? Brown. That's just brown. Yellow. That is a bold character design right there. <laughs> With the holes, mm. to be honest. You ready for this? SpongeBob. Yeah, I said it. Um, I mean, mm, 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 we can just try every color. I mean, red's not terrible. Red's not terrible, horrible. It's not terrible, horrible, but it's so great. Do I touch a Lego wheel to a drill? That seems yes. We ended up deciding to just use maroon as a temporary color, but I knew it would contrast too much with some of the color palettes that I had, so I'd have to come up with a better solution in future. But for now, it would be maroon. I then just kind of threw it in Unity as a placeholder, just to sort of see how it would look. So guys, we got the game running perfectly. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's just, boy, I can't even, um, I can't even overstate how perfect and great uh, and realistic this game is looking right now I'm just I'm just blown away I want to have a look a moment of self-reflection <laughs> right now. Why is he in the ground? <laughs> Why? Whoa! Because <laughs> like, there's one there. moment he's not in the ground, then there's the next minute he... Well, if you, if you look, he's like relative to the whole like frame of everything, he stays dead still. Ah, uh, yeah. Up. Hmm? I got a four stack. Tim and OPS, you want to go? Oh, Tim, do you want him? I don't mind. I gotcha. Still didn't like we have, have to, to go for a sec. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, we'll be back on door. Yep. Cease. Cease. Cease, Cease boys. Cease. <laughs> See someone you know and they ask you how you're doing and you have to say that you're fine. But you're not fine. But you can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> what if we make this negative one? Huh? What do you think about that? Disney Pixar whoa, 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 whoa. Which way are you going? Okay, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> no, don't go. <sighs> okay, okay, we're gonna get him. This time, this time we're gonna get him. Okay, uh... Okay. So needless to say, that's not what it should look like. Um, so if I hit play... It's... Doing something. That's, that's... Oh, wow is that something. Let me tell you how something is. A lot. And then I moved on to doing suspension. I was trying to, I, look, I initially try and program in suspension from scratch by myself before realizing, oh wait, Unity has, I don't know, an entire physics system. Even with that though, I, um, well, it didn't go so hot. Oh, <laughs> you know what it looks like? When you need to pee. <laughs> like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. Here's a fun question for you as a physics boy. Ooh. How would you, if if I had a variable that was, say, for instance, adjust the height of the wheel? It's just the gap between the body. Yeah, so if you could control this, right, and then you have knowledge of the player's velocity, right, how do you calculate the wheel height to uh, do suspension? <laughs> yeah. Um, Bro, that is... Whoa, Jesus. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, good... Hmm. 
Oh yeah, also the the, the wheel rotates. Mm, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, something where it's like suspension, right? The idea is to keep the pretty much take like and if it's fallen and it's just hit the ground, emulate calculate, that. get the chest oh. close to that by bending the wheels. Um, yes. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So, um, the way to do that, oh boy, let me tell you, I can think of it right off the top of my head. Mm. If I do it, oh, mm. Mm. <laughs> you are feeling ways about this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I am going to shave and be back, so okay. I'm just going to definitely. Sounds like a good plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and be like, but Dylan, you've made so much progress. You are gonna be like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Huh. Um, what if I do it like that? Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh Cool, cool, really cool. Um, how do I use this? What do I do? Mm, that doesn't seem right, but I'm gonna give it a crack. I'm gonna give it an old, the old try. Cool, cool, yeah, that, no, that was uh, brilliant. Brilliant, fantastic. Okay, not much. Gonna sink it to the ground. Cool. Got some quicksand action going on. We love that. We love that. Trade bien. Trade bien. Yeah, we, I don't know why these colliders aren't colliding. Oh, hey, can I do this? That didn't really help. No. What about this? Oh, groovy. Nice. That's different. That's different. So what's this going to do? Wow. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay, okay. So now it's time to watch some tutorials. If we press play, the car collide with the ground. Let's make the tire roll now. To do this, we can select both the tire and add a new component called Wheel Joint 2D. A wheel joint is the combination of an inch joint and a spring joint for the suspension. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got all that. Psh, easy. It's easy. And now it's working Psh, perfectly. Lit, really lit. So lit, you guys. I can't even have the wheel start like up here. Nice. Uh, yeah, welcome. Oh, he's sinking through the ground now. The ground. I'd say it's working ah. perfectly. So instead of doing it in the code, I decided to try look at what Unity has, and it has a thing called wheel joint, which sounds perfect. Um, I just don't. <laughs> really no. I just don't really know. Um, um, like you see, oh, you see that when it jumps down, that was looking great. You see just the initial drop, it's like, perfect. And then it's like, uh, yeah. uh, 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 Can you set up the backwards physics thing? The inverse Oof. kinematics. Yeah. From the wheel? That's what I was going to do. I was going to get the wheel oh, to do right, the suspension yeah. and then just calculate the angles of the legs afterwards. Yeah, okay. What? Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Fine. What you can do this afternoon? Maybe a little bit of robotics, I don't know. Yeah. Because I might nab you, dummy, oh. about 4.30 or something just to do half an hour or so outside. So if you're going to do robotics, do it. Okay. Um, and also, remind me at about 4 o'clock if you haven't looked at the Unspecified. menu. Tonight? I know what I'm having. I'm having the schnitzel with gravy. It's simple. Okay, cool. I 
Whoa. All right, see you. Um, Bye. Well, that happened. That looked kind of magical, not gonna lie. <laughs> he was just flying on by. Oh, whoa, 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 oh. Yeah, look at that. That's, whoa. that's the action I was after. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That. You sent him to the Shadow Realm, damn. Yep, freeze both freeze X and Y. X. I'm sure that will go great. Well, I don't know what we oh. thought would happen. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not verified with Unity. It may be unstable. That's what we like. Yes, 2 dk Hey there. Bone editor. That's all one asset. <sighs> Working for an hour and five minutes now. Um, you want to play Portal 2? I'm interested. Now move the blue portal, blue portal to line up. Yeah. Damn. Now we just gotta... Um, do what again? <laughs> hey! We did the thing! Easy. Woo. Easy. But as much as I wanted to procrastinate, I had to admit, things weren't going well. Spirit's colors weren't looking that great in-game, and his physics weren't working either. It just felt like I was making no progress, that I had hit a wall, and that to break through, I was gonna have to do something that I hadn't done since leaving school. So, uh, hey, it's the 23rd of April, right now, 9 o'clock. For the past week, I've been, like, kind of... Not really been procrastinating, but I've been working very, very slowly on doing the character. Like I've been going bit by bit. I've just not. I, I just didn't want to do it. But I've had enough of that. It's time for me to to pick up my game. I'm gonna go work into the night. I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm. I'm gonna go hard. I'm just oh, program, program, program. Click on the things I need to click on. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a lot of work. So I got a coffee. I got the. Uh, I'm putting on some bangers. We'll be set. We're gonna make some progress right here. That's right. I was gonna stay up until I had fixed all the spirit's problems. There were two main issues: one, his suspension not working, and two, his colors not looking good. And by the end of the night, I had worked out how to solve both of them. While I had originally planned on programming the suspension in myself, this was just plain silly as Unity's physics system was in theory a much simpler way to do it, but when I had tried to do it, it had worked weirdly due to Spirit's odd design. I tried to rig Spirit up in Unity like he was a person, when instead I should have been making him more like what he actually was, a wheel with decoration. Instead of having the torso piece of Spirit be the main physics body, with Spirit's limbs and such being attached to it, I instead made his will be the main part of his body, with the rest of him being attached to it instead, and this worked perfectly. Then, when it came to his colours, having him as set colours was just limiting. Not only did his caponcho look out of place, but his whole character did, so I decided to use a previously acquired ability. I kinda had to learn a whole new programming language called Shader Code. I rendered him out with his three colours being red, green, and blue, and then made a custom shader that would take each pixel I had to render, see how red, green, or blue it was, and then appropriately hue, saturation, and lightness shifted to a respective colour that could be set in the material. If you don't know what that means, it means I can make him any colour, but I only need to have one set of images of him. Finally, Spirit was properly in the game, thanks to this late night grind. It's sort of, l kind of a little f my sleep schedule, but um, by the end of the night I had this. Now that's what I call good enough. Also, I left this message at like 4, 4 a.m. Hello, it's um... It's like 10 to 4 in the morning right now, so I've been, I worked on the game, and um, yeah, I got some, I got some things done. I did a whole bunch of crap. Yeah, and I'm just feeling way too energized right now. Priority numero uno right now, get a snack. I'm hungry and want to put it, put something in my mouth. So I'm going to get a snack. And then I'm going to... brush my teeth, probably, immediately after eating this snack. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. So, we now had a functional game, we had a nice art style, and we had a character. So now the game needed menus and a bit more substance, you know, you're not really gonna just play that mini game for hours. We needed a bit of meat, we need a bit of, a bit of a reason to keep playing. And that's next time. That's next time on, um...
obnoxious boy with laptop tries to make money by making a game and releasing it to the internet. That's a, it's a working title. Maybe, maybe it's just, maybe we just call it obnoxious boy. Maybe we just call it, oh, oh boy. <laughs> just call it, oh boy. Next time on, oh boy. I'm just, I'm real, I'm real tired. Nice circadian rhythm is just feeling it. Oh, I work, if we're being generous, like, six o'clock it's all a scam p.m yesterday waking up in the morning you know you could probably finish the game if you just like sat down and worked out for a couple of hours i've been awake for i mean only like about 18 hours uh thanks for thanks for watching i know this was a bit of a longer one um and it was sort of just pretty focused narrowly on one thing but um i appreciate you coming to check it out um, next episode, we start doing some, um, you know, some menus, some power ups, some fun things like that. But I, I, no spoilers though, no spoilers. It comes out in two days. So, like, maybe just press subscribe. I mean, I, like, I'm not forcing you to do anything. I'm just saying, maybe, you know, just fucking do it for me, please. I want it so badly.